black does not play e5 or c5. Black usually opens with a plan to attack the e4 pawn. One direct way of doing this is with d5. This is known as the Scandinavian defense. Black immediately attacks the e4 pawn, but moving the d pawn this early has the drawback that it is only protected by the queen. So after e takes d5, black brings the queen out very early to recapture the pawn with queen takes d5. White can play knight to c3, developing a piece toward the center and attacking black's queen. Black loses time moving the queen to safety, so bringing the queen out early in the opening is usually not a great idea. If black wants to prepare an attack on e4 with d5, it is more common to prepare it with e6 or c6 first. After e6, this opening is known as the French defense. Black prepares to play d5 on the very next turn. After d4, white enjoys having two pawns in the center, but black quickly attacks white's center with d5. If white captures black's pawn on d5, black is ready to recapture with the e6 pawn. Since the trade doesn't improve white's position, a more common move for white is to play e5. Moving the pawn to safety and taking space in black's territory. The drawback of playing e6 is that it blocks in the light squared bishop on c8. So finding a good place for that bishop is black's biggest challenge. In the French, black allows white a central space advantage and then counterattacks the center with c5. The opening battle will focus on white trying to keep a space advantage and black trying to attack and destroy it. A similar opening to the French defense is played after c6. This is known as the Carol Khan defense. After d4, like the French defense, black attacks the center in the Carol Khan with d5. After the common e5, black plays bishop to f5. Unlike the French defense, in the Carol Khan, black develops the light squared bishop toward the center before playing e6. Black enjoys a solid game, but it is a slower opening strategy as black has not made any moves to help with kingside development. Now that you've learned the ideas behind attacking the e4 pawn in the French and Karakhan defenses, let's put your knowledge to the test.